everybody, it's Melody and it's time for another Vlogoween DIY. So today we are making these cute little serving jack-o'-lantern platters, bowls, um, something to decorate your next party with. Um, so I've got this one, you can put like cupcakes or a cake or maybe cold cuts on top of it. And we got a nice evil winking pumpkin staring at you through some creepy cloth. And then this one I think is probably my favorite of the two. We've got two little scared pumpkins and well jack-o'-lanterns, two little scared jack-o'-lanterns and they are scared of these creepy creepy spiders. Um, you can choose another medium. You don't have to do spiders if you really don't like spiders. Um, this one trying to blow that little green spider away. Um, so if you want to learn how to make these serving platters. Um, this one's got a bowl for candy. Um, just stick around and let's do this. Some things you will need for this project are paints in various colors. I'm using some Mod Podge, a cup of water, paint brushes. Um, you might want something to lay your paint out on. A uh, paper towel to dry off your paint brushes. Some a creepy cloth from the dollar store. Um, you're going to need three of these silver platters. You will also need three of these dollar store pumpkins. Um, I would suggest the low temp hot glue gun because I think the hot temp might actually, these are styrofoam and it might actually just melt them. So I'm gonna go with the low temp. Um, scissors, I think right beside me. Can't blame my mustard out there. You also need some sort of um, candy bowl to set on top of one of them. And I just got, again, this one at the dollar store. It's got some little spiders on it. Um, and decoration of your choice. I have some of these little plastic spider rings that I got last year and used in some projects. Um, so I'm just gonna use some of these instead of buying something new. And I think that's it. So our first step is I'm going to very carefully remove this tag and put it down through the pumpkin so it leaves a tiny, I don't even know if you can see, like a tiny, tiny hole. I'm gonna remove the stem carefully. It's just put in there with a paper clip. It's going to leave a hole on the top. It doesn't matter. It won't be seen. Um, you can save this for another project if you want. If you don't need it, you can throw it away. Of course, throw away garbage. And like I said, the first step is just to pick out a face that you want to draw. Um, any jack-o'-lantern face will do. I'm going to be using my tiny paintbrush and black paint to make my face. I find the side of the pumpkin. This one looks best. surprised uh, looks on their faces and you'll find out why um, this one I just kind of went a little bit different and you will don't worry if you go outside like I did here a little bit because we're about to paint him black or whatever color you like if you like to keep him orange you can keep him orange and then paint his mouth and eyes black I'm going to paint mine black and then paint the inside of the mouth and eyes yellow so it looks like a nighttime pumpkin with um, a candle inside. So the next step is just to paint.
have so far. I'm gonna finish this off camera and I will meet up with you at the end and show you his face and then we'll go over the next step. So here's the one that I did now and then these two I did earlier. These are the kind of the surprise scared ones I was telling you about. I'm gonna set all of these aside to dry and then we will work on the next step. So as you can see, I've laid out my creepy cloth for this next step, putting my platter on top of it and then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut a shape out and I kinda want it to drape over the edges and then come a little bit more towards the platter. So I'm gonna curve my cut in towards the platter and then out again. You cut yours in whatever shape you want it to be. And then I'm just gonna make sure that it covers. Yes, so I like this kind of draping effect here. Let's go on to the next step. Creep cloth, Mod Podge, big brush. Flatter. That's what you need for this step. I'm gonna take my big paintbrush. I'm gonna paint quite a thick coat on the bottom of the platter that I'm going to lay out the creepy cloth on top and then I'm gonna put another thick coat on top and then you just gotta wait for it to dry. And here's what platters look like. Um, everything dries clear. The next thing to do is just basically put everything together so my glue gun is heating. I don't know if you can tell but etched into the platters there's a design in the circle so that's the center so we're going to be using that as a reference. We also have a circle on the pumpkins. Um, so we're going to get it as close to centered as possible. So basically we're just we're gonna glue these two pumpkins together and then a platter on top and then just one with a platter on top. Um. pumpkin platter number one and part of the reason why we're using this creepy cloth is so that when we set something on top of it like the bowl or the other platter it's not gonna slide off very easily so you can set this on your serving table put cupcakes or a small cake up here some treats if you're using the bowl. You can put candy in there, set it outside. Um, you can set it up higher at eye level so his face shows better. Um, I'm just kind of sitting in the floor right now so it's not at a great angle. But let's put the other one together so that one's done. for a second and I'm just gonna cut the rings off the back you 
can see where this little guy is looking, I'm going to glue a spider. See where this little guy is looking right here? I'm going to glue a spider there. So it looks like he's scared of the spiders. I'm going to tie some string on this spider bowl and I'm going to dangle one of the spiders. Let's see, maybe green. So again, I'm just cutting the back off here. This time I'm going to take my fishing line. You can also do black thread. That would work too. It doesn't have to be clear fishing line. And I'm just going to put a line Blue. Be careful with this, don't burn your fingers. And I'm just gonna set the line in it. Let it dry. So we've got a dingly spider. I'm gonna set my bowl on top. I'm gonna measure how far down to my pumpkin. I'm gonna cut that. And I'm just gonna tie it on the bowl and that way if we wanna use the bowl for something else later, we can just cut the spider off if we want to not have it or we can leave it if we do. So now it looks like our little scared pumpkin is trying to blow that spider away. And that one's petrified of this other spider. Finish decorating however you want to decorate. Um, if you make one, please send me a picture um, to my Gmail or on Facebook, uh, Twitter. Um, you can Snapchat me, Instagram. I'm shivering shimmy on all of those. All of that will be in the description down below. Um, if you like this video, please hit subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. Otherwise, you don't know when new videos come out. Got a lot of spooky stuff coming out. Lots more for Vlogoween. I'm going to finish gluing on a few spiders. And then I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.